Eels on Wheels. The world needed to make Victoria as good as new for a long time. Summer came with a long, hot, dry spell and no rain. The sun shone from a clear blue sky and the engines were the bottom Sometimes, Daisy noticed creatures coiled up beside the railway, enjoying the sunshine. Usually they took no notice as she passed, but now and then they would slither away to hide beneath the dry grass. How do they move? wondered Daisy. They've got no legs. Neither do you, laughed the driver, but you manage all right. They're grass snakes and they move by wriggling their bodies. How clever, thought Daisy, and she told Thomas and Percy about it. Percy shuddered. I don't like the sound of that, he said. I hope they don't come near me. They won't, the driver reassured him. They're harmless. I'm much more frightened of you than you are of them. I'm not scared, Percy, said Daisy scornfully. You're not frightened of a few harmless wriggly things, surely? Percy wasn't comfortable. Ugh, Just the thought of it makes me shiver. Daisy thought he would be very silly. One afternoon, she brought some boxes up from the junction. The men handled them carefully. It's a special delivery, explained Daisy's driver. What's so special about it? Asked Daisy. It contains live eels, the driver said. Sort of water snakes. They're for a special menu at the restaurant in the high street. Very carefully, the porters stacked the boxes on the platform. Daisy moved back so that the milk bag would be coupled to her. Porters began to load empty milk churns into the van. The pile of boxes was now just in front of her. Suddenly, a small boy ran past. He accidentally caught the top box of the pile with his coat sleeve. He hit the platform and burst open onto the rails in front of Daisy. Out cascaded a knot of slithery black heels, which had once tried to wriggle away. Eee! Squealed Daisy. Help! Porter ran to see what was the matter. He found Daisy pulling a face of such disgust that he couldn't help laughing. Get me out of here! wailed Daisy. Stop making such a fuss, ordered her driver. They're only eels. They're not going to hurt you. And you've blown a fuse anyway. In no time, all the eels have been rescued and put into another box. None the worse for their adventure. The porter took them well out of harm's way. Daisy couldn't bear to watch. Bitter came and tried to mend her. She was in such a state of nerves that it was no use. Thomas had to take her passenger back to the <laughs> That night, Percy and Toby made up lots of what they called wriggly jokes. Which Daisy thought were very silly. Never mind, said Toby. Near my old railway, there's a place called Eli. Think of that! Daisy shuddered. It was the last thing she wanted to think about. 